day everyone today we have one of the most intriguing authors sitting with us he's written a fiction book and back to a murder mystery her name is jemima jona and she's written the book the dark retribution i'm so thrilled for this book i am so i mean the the cover is so engaging and thrilling that i'm so excited to read this book so first of all jemina could you please tell us something about yourself Okay, so hi guys. I am Jemima, and I am 26 years old. I just turned 26 last December. I live in Chennai, and I work as a business analyst. And writing has always been my passion. So I also enjoy um, drawing. I bathroom sing a little if that's counted as a hobby. <laughs> But yeah, that's 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 about. That's interesting. Jemima, please tell us something about your book, The Dark Retribution. You know, I'm I'm sure you don't want to reveal the secret and uh, tell us the title. <laughs> tell us something about the book. Okay, so it's your typical crime fiction, but it has a major twist in which um, certain horror elements are, um, you know, wrapped up like a nice sushi roll. So. <laughs> the point of sale is that uh, the lead character can see ghosts, and her name is Victoria Brooks, okay. and she needs to solve a murder that she knows wasn't caused by any human being. So she needs to figure out why and who caused the murder, and why people are dying consecutively, while handling some of her own personal problems like um, grief or, you know, having to trust someone new or something like that. Okay. So the title is very catchy. What's your take on it? Ah, uh, well, I did have a you know play with the title. At first, it was called Victoria Brooks after the lead character, and then I thought you know um, because once you finish your draft, you kind of figure out that the title has no relation to the book itself because I have a lot of characters coming in and going out. So I thought it wasn't fair to name it Victoria Brooks, and I was um, figuring out a way to make it. More enticing to the readers as well, so I knew that I had to have dark in it, and I was pinging my developmental editor. You know, I just asked her like, "Dude, what do you think about dark revenge?" And she, she just looked at me and she's like, "Dude, you're an author. You can do better than that. Like dark revenge. That sounds lame." And we were trying to come up with different words, and she's like, "Wait, revenge can also be called as retributions, right? So why don't you just call it dark retributions? Because that fits the major element of the story. And I don't think I can actually envision any other name for my book at the point. So, so was there any difficulty you faced while drawing imagination for fiction writing? Uh, not necessarily. I think the only hurdle that I did face for fiction writing was. Time management, because I suck big time at time management. But as far as inspiration goes, I think majority of the book was. I think I just wrote it as it came to me. Like I did not have any hurdle as such, um, except uh, when certain elements of the book required like a bit of research, especially in the paranormal world and how um, the professionals handle it. You know, like uh, paranormal investigators handle it. What are the equipments they use and. What are the terminologies they use? Um, that was a little bit of, I think, a hard play. But otherwise, everything else was smooth as butter. So. It's a well-researched book, I would. Say. I I'd like to think so. I'd like to think so. Yes. So, how do you feel after debuting with your first book? Okay, <laughs> it feels surreal because I've been dreaming of writing a book, you know, ever since I was young. and a lot of people around me you know first they used to motivate me when i was in school because writing was a good thing in school but once you enroll yourself into college and you get an actual job people start telling you like this isn't going to pay you you are not going to make a name out there like there are thousands of authors out there like what makes you think that you could put your name on the plate mm-hmm. or my mom would generally you know they say um You know, whatever you start, you don't finish. You you just go lick everything out there because I paint, I sing, I draw, I write, and everything. So I think a part of me actually felt that this wasn't a phase that I am going through, but I actually wanted to write because it it sort of made me happy. And when I signed the contract with Invincible, I remember showing it to my mom because my mom did not know that uh, at the point. I remember showing it to my mom, and I, I remember telling her, like, I told you it wasn't a phase. Like, I am actually publishing my book, 
and she felt proud for me she she felt proud of me and uh, i think i was proud of myself you know for being able to accomplish that one feat but right now i'm like you know now that you've done it don't just sit back like you have to write more books you have to push more books out and then again i go back wondering because um once this book is out i'm hearing a lot of good reviews from people a lot of people who buy it from the mall are you know texting me telling me we enjoyed your book we enjoyed this particular paragraph of your book and stuff so now my challenge is to make the second book equally good because i feel intimidated by my own self at this point right. so so what is the reaction of your family and friends for the book uh they were surprised i mean my friends were uh, my core support system throughout the entire um, writing journey because no matter even if i felt like quitting you know halfway through they would literally beat me to death they would tell me don't you dare quit it we would read your book and I, when the book was out for pre order um my dad was in home at that point he was busy with his work so i remember calling my friend and i remember telling her dude my book is available for pre order i want you to buy it i hadn't even finished the statement she's like wait this is your book right she sends me the link on amazon and she had pre ordered it before i even asked her to do it so my friends are like yeah i know my friends are like super supportive uh, when it comes to my writing uh, my family my parents are like super supportive with it because they see me being more happier now that i've accomplished writing one book and now that i realized my dream of writing more um i i i really hope my the rest of my relative squad are happy <laughs> so is there something you want to say to your readers absolutely i mean um as much as the cover is scary i promise you the book is not that scary so you guys can go ahead and read it without having nightmares because most of the time what i hear from the readers like i picked up your book and i was so scared to start it because the cover was terrifying but then the book was you know not that scary it was a fun ride of adventure and thrilling mysteries and stuff so yeah don't be afraid about the cover you can go ahead and you know read it and don't forget to leave your reviews and tell me what you think about it because that always makes my day better of course of course and that's exactly what even i wanted to say to everybody thank you so much jemima for coming here taking out time and people uh, thank you for having me distribution the book is available on all the portals it's available on amazon kindle flipkart available in the stores you can buy it from wherever you like i can do leave a review because that is what an author matters to the authors the most so please when yeah. you leave your review for the book thank you so much for coming here to reema and thank you everybody thank you for having me thank you take care